Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to my channel. Friends, in this video, we will discuss FS150 R17KE3FT. It is IGBT module for high current at 150 ampere, 1700 volts. It is a IGBT module pack. This series is 150 ampere, 225 ampere, and 300 ampere in 1700 or 1700 volts we will discuss its functional description its block diagram and how we can test it as a cold testing using multimeter basically it is a requested video from one of my viewer please explain troubleshooting and checking of igbt fs150 r17 ke3 fd s1 let's check check its data sheet it is 1700 collector to emitter voltage and routine current running current is 150 ampere nominal current but its current can reach up to 240 ampere at temperature 25 degree repetitive peak collector current can reach up to 300 ampere for one millisecond so maximum power dissipation is 1050 watt 1050 watt and gate to emitter peak voltage plus minus 20 volts here are parameters for designer for built-in diode maximum rated values so diode is 1700 volt 150 ampere these are a peak reverse voltage yeah, or we can say PIV peak inverse voltage or PRV peak reverse voltage forward junction voltage 1.8 volt then it have NTC or temperature sensor or thermistor at ambient temperature room temperature 25 degree centigrade its internal resistance is 5 kilo ohm in this section we can see the internal block diagram so it is divided into three portions one module set for high and low and it have its separate collector and emitter supply with the second section the third section so we have three sections and it have a built-in NTC temperature sensor thermistor if you see here we have two pins in one side the second module second layer have five pins then five pins so this is index pin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 it is pin configuration pin 13 and 14 at left side pin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 pin 13 and 14 15 16 17 18 19 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. So it is 29 pin module. This is its pin arrangement, pin configuration, pin 2 and pin 1. Pin 1 is for high, low side power supply, pin 2 is for high side power supply. There is pin 1 and pin 2 for this module. 11 and 12 is output. 11 and 12 is output 9 10 is common 7 8 is common 1 is low side 2 is high side 3 is low side 4 is high side 5 is low side and 6 is high side power supply here these terminals are output side so let's check how we can test it so it is its internal structure here is pin layout five pins five pins five pins and two pins here if you put two pins towards our side the rightmost pin one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this is its main arrangement set multimeter to diode mode or continuity if you have diode mode that is best if we have a resistor smart so we can test a resistor mode but it is preferred to test with diode mode black lead at pin number 5 red lead at pin number 6 in this way we will check these two diodes in series diode number 1 diode number 2 so now it is reverse biased it should open if it gives some continuity some beep that means either these diodes are short or IGBT is short circuit we are testing the pair now reverse the leads in first condition red lead was at pin number 6 and black lead 5 now swap the leads in this way we can test 
the forward junction voltage above 1.2 volt maybe it is 2 volt or plus but it should be more than 1.2 volt in this way we are testing these two diodes protection diodes 1 and 2 we should not find find a continuity or short, short circuit or beep it should give a drop voltage forward drop voltage for these two junctions if you find continuity that means the junction of any IGBT is bad now we are testing as a pair from high side and low side remember that this module should be removed from the circuit if you want to test it now we have to check continuity between 6 and 25 it should be connected to each other 5 and 24 these must be connected to each other now the same way 4 and 3 it should be open in this way 3 and 4 should give above 1.2 volt minimum 1.2 volt above 1.2 volt should be reading there on the multimeter in diode mode the same we have to verify the pin 19 and 3 4 and 20 now check the third set red lead at pin number 2 black lead at pin number 1 verify this pair reverse the leads now we are testing the forward junction voltage of these two diodes now we are going to test individual IGBT and protection diode in this cold testing we are not testing IGBT we are just verifying the diodes we can make a tester for this complete set by applying voltage that is warm testing but normally because it is a power handling device so power handling device if there is a open circuit that can be detected using multimeter for protection diode and if there is short circuit the IGBT most of the time the IGBT is short circuit so we have to verify with multimeter or we can apply a test jig for live testing this module connect black lead at pin number 5 red lead at pin number 7 8 or 27 it should be open swap the leads it should give 1, 0.6 volt to 1 volt drop across this diode the same way we can test all IGBTs one by one when the black lead will connect it to cathode the multimeter will display minimum 0.6 volt and up to 1.2 volt like that if it gives open from both sides that means the diode is open if it gives continuity or beep or zero resistance in both directions for any configuration for any IGBT set that means that IGBT or the respective diode is short circuit then we have to replace the module we can test this IGBT black lead at pin number 3 red lead at 9 10 or 22 so we have to check pin number 3 and 19 with 9 10 22 because sometimes the diode is good its internal wiring may be disconnected if you find now verify by swapping leads the same is here in reverse condition it should go give overload open circuit in forward condition it should give some voltage drop uh, if we are testing in resistance mode it should give some resistance one side open circuit the forward side forward junction resistance verify all junctions if you want to make a tester please let me know in the comment box i can draw the circuit and you can test it very easily by applying voltage if you verify the multimeter with cold testing the diodes and the junctions i think it will enough test the ntc set multimeter to ohms in resistance mode connect both test leads to pin number 29 and 28 it should give 5 kilo ohm resistance at 25 degree if the room temperature or ambient temperature is high then the resistance will decrease so using this method we can test IGBT using multimeter so friends i hope so this video is informative if it is informative give a thumb up if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh